Hey peeps, how you doing? Welcome to Mission 500, another live, another live. I think it's, I think it's day 21 of lives. Holy moly, is it day 21? That makes it three weeks, doesn't it? Woohoo! Three weeks of lives, amazing. Uh, right, let me make sure that I'm live. I'll let me get it on. I've got the computer up so you can have a chat with me. We'll have a chat. We'll have a chit chat. <laughs> who else is here who's here let's see let's see if anybody's commenting so far let me know that you can hear me okay and all that good jazz so today right okay 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 right so today's live is about silicone holes okay so silicone holes this is an next part okay so a lot of people i always get i always get messages all the time like where did you get the where did you get that sleeve for your pole i'm like well actually it's not a it's not a sleeve it doesn't come off um you can get pole sleeves by the way but this one um any x pole um silicone poles are attached to the pole um so yeah and they usually come in black or pink i don't know them in any other color from x pole anyway who else hey kathy how you doing um but yeah so i thought we would talk about silicone poles it's something i get asked a lot and you know i've had my fair share of bashing about using the silicone pole over the years but now they're becoming more popular more people are getting them for home and using them and you know i thought we could talk about like the pros and cons uh, about using a silicone pole what i think about them um hey beth how you doing uh, so that if you are imminent almond or whether you want to get a silicone pole, then hopefully, you know, you can ask me any questions as we go along. So q and I'm just going to answer some of the common questions I get asked a lot anyway. Um, and then if you've got any questions as we go along, just ask them and I'll just answer them. OK. Um, OK. Katrine. Katrine. Is that Katrina? Yes. Is it Katrina or Katrine? I'm saying it's Katrine. Uh, I have a question, maybe not related to silicone pole, but I was wondering about sleeve cover versus wrap. What is the best? How does it work? Good question. So uh, I'll answer that first, as it is all very, very much related. So silicone poles, X poles, do a silicone um, pole that can't come off. Then you can get wraps. I have a wrap here. It's actually on my, um, what do you call it? I always forget what this is called. Uh, flying pole. So this is my flying pole. Um, so as you can see, or oh, hopefully you can see, can you see it like it sort of overlap, overlaps? Okay. So this is like this is this is a wrap. So this I can take off my pole. So have I got it at the bottom here? Yes. So oh, let me just make that down. Let me see if I can get it up without hitting my ceiling. So here at the bottom, it's literally just wraps. And it's just wrapped around so you can just take it on take it off it sort of sticks to itself i like to give it a good wash in a sink um so that's the difference is that the silicone wrap literally gets wrapped around a normal like you know chrome pot okay so it's really super easy to take on and off the annoying thing for me i don't know about anyone else but trying to get like the bottom part and the top part well the bottom it depends which way you wrap it uh the bottom part to actually maintain stick after a while, um, that's annoying. Uh, I just usually put like a hairband around the bottom myself. Uh, but that's what I do. Any any tips on that? Let me know. Um, let me just put it back. <clears throat> Talon, use that. I haven't I used that for a while. Thinking dusty. All right. So that's the difference. Is, is the silicone on the pole doesn't come off. The wrap will come off it's really super easy um to place on and take off again i know quite a few members use a wrap the annoying thing with the wrap because it does overlap it creates that little ridge on it uh but i think that's still really beneficial for like strength training and things like that obviously you wouldn't be doing slides on it uh try and slide down that part when you'll just be trying to like roll the the um the wrap down and yeah it's no good for that kind of thing but for strength building really really beneficial um and it uh, i was gonna say it's the cheaper option but i i'm not sure it is i think it's going to depend where you live so i believe the wraps are created by a company well it used to be from a company called stunt grip um and now they've teamed up with aerial essentials i believe i haven't looked at them for, for a little while so don't hold me to that but at least it'll give you some idea if you're on the right track um and the import cost, because it's in America to the UK, are crazy amount. So actually, you know, it may, if you're looking for something to be used on the pole all the time, I'll probably just go straight to an X pole, just give them a call and get a, a silicone pole ordered. 
Um, obviously, if you just want it for like, you know, summertime or any time, maybe it's just the winter, whatever. Some people just love it to be able to wear their clothes and not having to warm the pole up. Uh, some people love it for the summer because they just can't grip. Um, you know, so you can use it anytime. So if you're looking for something to be able to switch between the two, the wrap is right good. Now, you can obviously get the pole sleeve. Hang on, just make sure I'm not missing any questions. Uh, Katrina, yes, you said it right. Cool. I already have a pole but struggle to stick, so I was looking into sleeves versus wraps, okay? So the sleeve, we used to use sleeves because they came about before the silicone poles came about. So I, I, I've got experience with all these. Um, so the sleeves that go over the top of the pole, so they are smooth, but my God, they're not as easy to put on and take off as it, you know, they might describe. Um, it takes a quite a lot of work to try and slide it on. So if you're going to put it on, I expect it to be on for a lot, a lot, a, a while. <laughs> I get my words out. Uh, you know, it's, you don't want to be, you won't be taking that one on and off. It'll be too much of a pain in the ass. If you want something to take on and off all the time, use a wrap. Um, if you're looking for something for a bit of a longer term, then you can use the um, sleeve to go over the top. Like I said, it is tricky to get on and off. Um, you know, you'll build some muscles doing that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that we use sleeves for a long while. Um, absolutely nothing wrong with them. Love them. They do cleave. If you've left them on for a little while, you probably do leave some residue. residue. <laughs> Give me words out. Um, but you know, good clean and it doesn't damage the pole or anything like that. Does that help? Uh, oh, Philippa! You aren't, you're getting on my board, girl. You're getting on my board. Thank you so much for the stars. Bless you. Oh, gosh, you're filling up the board with stars, peeps. Thank you so much. Um, okay, so let's have a look. So, wraps from the bottom up. So, if you're, you slide, you don't go against the edge and use a little bit of duct tape to secure the edge. Okay, so Kathy's good point there. She can use duct tape. Um, I used to use some hairpins as well, like to do the top, just to. Pin it, pin, it, pin it all in, uh, top and bottom. That was another way that I used to do it. Uh, so Kathy said, yes, I ordered last one last month. Or I'm assuming you mean a wrap, Kathy. £120 for a medium for the wrap and postage. Yeah, so it's not it's not cheap. And Kathy's in the UK. So it's not cheap, but it is still cheaper than a silicone pole. Um, so yeah, it really depends on what you want. Um, wraps are also good if you can't get a floor to ceiling pole freestanding. Yes, that's a good point actually, Kathy. Never thought about that. Um, so if you can't get, you can, but you can get silicone, um, you can get silicone poles for the X stage. Um, so you can do that if you've got a freestanding pole, um, but otherwise you can use a wrap and just take it, you know, put it on, take it off again. And it's probably quite good if you want to do photo shoots and stuff. I wouldn't have thought it'd be any problem to wrap a pole for photo shoots if that's what you wanted to do. And then obviously just take it off again for the next person and whatever. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the difference really is that the, oh, another thing we should mention is both the wrap and the sleeve because you're putting something on top of an already existing pole, it's going to make your diameter a lot wider. So if you're struggling with grip, then just be aware that the pole is going to feel thicker. Um, so that's the only down point. Um, but like with anything, if, unless, you know, if you're using wraps and silicone poles or whatever, you're, you're not going to be using that in uh, competition training. So if that's what you're aiming for, then don't even bother. Um, but otherwise, you do adjust to the size. I mean, you know, I had silicone, sorry, I had um, the sleeves on my poles and I had 45 minute, 45 millimeter poles, but I had the sleeve on top. So, you know, it was closer to 50 millimeters. Um, but with new people and coming into my studio, nobody really, nobody was bothered about it because it was just something they were always used to. Like they didn't know any, any better or any different, should I say? I wouldn't say it's any better. Um, they didn't know any different. So, you know, but just be aware that it's going to make it thicker. I know a lot of people like to go thinner in their pole. So just be aware of that. Whereas if you buy a silicone pole itself, so for example, this is a 45 um, millimeters. Now I may be wrong, but I'm sure it's a 40, actually 40 millimeter pole only because of the joints that are inside, you have to get 40 millimeter poles. Anyway, I'm, I'm going off topic. Um, but yeah, at least it's a, a, a width that's more smaller than using a wrap. Hopefully that makes sense. Unless you're using like a, a 38 millimeter pole or a 40 millimeter pole and you're wrapping that, then it's gonna make it more like a 45 or whatever. And that might be better for you, I don't know. Um, anyway, good point. Silicone sleeves don't fit our pole sizes. Ooh, that's a good, point are you saying is it because of the um 
uh, the 38 do you mean so is it like I, I haven't really looked but i'm assuming like the sleeves are 45 millimeters or or wider i can't remember it's been so long since i've had to go and look at that um cool glad that helped glad that helped so in terms yes yeah, so in terms of polling obviously you can't slide i mean you know i can make myself do like some static spins and it make my hands super hot um so it's not impossible but you gotta remember i've been doing it a long time uh so anybody who's like quite new you're gonna feel really stuck on the pole it's really grippy really great love grip stay grip i uh, love the grippy pole for pretty much all my pole work um particularly when it comes to conditioning i feel so much more safer i know this sounds a lot of it sounds weird i feel safer because i have the grip sometimes if i'm using a, uh, like my chrome pole I constantly fear that I'm going to slip off the pole, but if I've washed my hands and my hands are dry and I can always place a bit of grip on my hands and I use my silicone pole, I feel like I can concentrate on the move itself that I'm doing and develop the strength and the muscles needed for that move rather than constantly think I'm going to slide out or I'm going to slip or whatever. Um, so I, I love the, the silicone pole for that. Uh, Kathy says 38 and 42 over 38 I believe sleeves are in 40 okay cool 40 or 45 yeah that makes sense cool hey Hazel how are you doing um so yeah so silicone poles I do believe and it, I know for my own students definitely boost their confidence up in training certain tricks if you're worried about slipping off a pole then silicone brilliant for getting that grip you can still slide if you're still if you're sweaty you can still slide down these poles so don't think it's like a magic thing you're going to be glued if you're sweaty you will still slide but you know wash your hands regularly and i get that instant grip back and i feel so much more secure in a lot of my moves now in terms of progressing like so i can go from like beginner to advanced that's fine but as you go in towards advanced so like higher intermediate and advanced actually um i find that you will need or i feel like i don't always have the grip now this i know is just um what's the word um contradicting i think is the right word of what i've just said so i feel grip when i'm working the strength based moves particularly when it comes to hand grips but when it comes to leg grips not always great because you need to wear on a silicone pole or wrap pole or sleeve pole you're going to need to wear clothing it's if you don't you're going to burn your skin to shit um, so it's really important that you've got some fitted clothing to be able to grip your pole. And this is where it comes like um, tricky because you need to find the most fitted clothing you can to be able to grip and do leg hands. So um, I know I have the strength and the ability to be able to do certain tricks. But if I do not have the right clothing on and I get, try and get a, like a really good leg lock, for example, but my clothing starts to roll underneath me, I no longer feel safe. So for me, I sometimes then like, I either need to get my chrome pole out or I just, you know, pole in my uh, shorts and just, you know, hope to God I don't burn myself too much on a silicone pole. <laughs> so there are pros and cons. And I find that actually for the majority up to, to advance, you know, I've done lots of lessons or, or, you know, my program goes from beginner to advanced and I do most of it on a silicone pole, unless it's for the static spin stuff, then I get the chrome pole out for that. Um, but otherwise you can do most of it. But I think when it comes to transitions or hanging from your leg, when it comes to like that higher advanced elite level, um, needing that skin grip you can't beat skin grip you cannot beat it not even on a silicone pole it's great that you don't have to shave your legs right <laughs> don't have to shave your legs just put leggings on boom get on the pole great that you don't have to warm up the pole boom i love it just straight onto it uh because I, I was saying the other day like chrome poles having to warm them warm them up drive me drive me nuts i'm like sweating now just warming the pole up but my now now the pole's nice and warm i'm hot and now my legs are too sticky to be able to do any spins it's a constant battle so i find i have more battles with spins with when it comes when i'm hot <laughs> on a chrome pole um so that annoys me so there's definitely pros and cons with both but yeah when it comes to like ha leg hangs uh what am i thinking in particular maybe something like a um it's not a helicopter Tornado run. I don't know if you know, any of you know what that is. So basically you come into like a brass monkey position and then you pull yourself up. So initially, basically, almost that you'll be just hoping that your inside leg will be gripped onto the pole enough to be able to do the sit up. Um, 
But if it's not, you're coming off. You're coming off. So, yeah, see, so I definitely find that you'll be fine up to a certain level. But for conditioning, getting your strength, building your confidence, being able to hold moves, particularly for hand grips, I love it. Um, let that bikini line grow. <laughs> Let that bikini line grow out. Exactly, exactly. You've got it, Kathy. Just keep your leggings on. Nobody needs to know. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's what I love about silicone poles. But yeah, so I think definitely as you advance, I think you can do so much until you advance level. So if you are just starting out and you don't have the confidence and you're really slipping on your pole and it's like putting you off, I always say if it... If it's like you're not going on your pole, get a silicone pole. If it's going to make you continue to pole, then get a silicone pole. If you're now thinking, I can no, you know, I'm, I'm not enjoying my pole because I can't stick, you know, I'm thinking about giving up, get a silicone pole. So those are the sort of, sort of scenarios that I would recommend a silicone pole, blah, 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 a silicone pole for, or a wrap or a sleeve or whatever. Um, if you're used to poling and you've been poling for a little while, I don't necessarily, I don't actually recommend it as such because most people hate it. <laughs> if you've never, like, if you've not had the problem of gripping, if you've, um, and you're absolutely fine with your, you, you know, your pole now, like, don't matter what pole it is, whether it's chrome, brass, whatever, um, keep with what you know. Um, does that make sense? I, I know I would have given up if metal pole was my only option. And this is why I started silicone poles, guys. I don't know if you know the story about it, but when I first started, obviously nobody, we, there wasn't actually no silicone poles about, it were rubber poles or the sleeves is what I use. Because I love poles so much. And I'm like, I know people can get so much benefit from it if they could just get over that initial thought of, oh my God, no, there's no way I could do it because I couldn't wear my shorts. Um, I just don't have that confidence. It's not for me. So hence why I was like, right, I'm going to create a studio that's using silicone poles. And lots of people started and they loved the fact they didn't have to wear clothing. And over time, their confidence can build. And then they're like, you know what? Bugger it. Let's, I know I need my shorts for grip. And then they will continue their journey on the chrome side if that's what they wanted to do. Um, so yeah, for me, it's like getting people started, getting people getting, going to a certain level leveling up um and they do cross you will build your strength and the great thing is like a lot of people are like well you're, you're cheating because you've got the grip there i'm like well not really because you know if you're going to put a, you know how much grip on your hands or cover the pole in grip a grip aid what's the difference between that and a silicone pole for one and two just because you've got grip on your hands doesn't mean that you, you your muscles are instantly going to be stronger you still have to work on that you still have to work on your technique and getting stronger and building the muscles um whether that's on a chrome you know or metal finished pole or a silicone pole so a lot of people that i've taught over the years because it's a grippy pole and you can't slide down the pole you build your strength so much more quickly um because you have to because you're holding and you can't slide it's like well, i have to hold to get out of my moves you know it's not a case of like say for example doing an invert and then your legs get wrapped around the pole and then you're like oh i'm just gonna loosen my grip and then slide down to the bottom of the pole it's like no you need to make sure that you've got enough strength to actually come out by pulling yourself back up so most people build their strength so much more faster by using the, the, a silicone pole because they don't have that ability just to slide and drop out of moves. Um, so I definitely find that really helpful. Uh, let's see what else I've got to say. Uh, I, um, that, this is frustrating for me. I can pull at the studios I go with. The one I have at home, it simply doesn't grip. So it sounds like, Katrine, you might have like a, a brand new pole. The most important thing, so when it comes to actually grip, when it comes to grip strength and uh, gripping on your pole at home in particular, a lot of the times it comes down to how you, well your pole is conditioned. So with a pole at the studio, you've got to think it's being used all the time. Um, it's being cleaned a lot. Uh, there may have been a studio, or sorry, there may have been a class just before you. The poles are already warm. So always make sure that your poles are warm. If you've got a pole at home, make sure your room is warm, make sure you are warm, you are warm and then warm up your pole. Those are like the, like the most basic things that you need to do. Um, and you will probably have to warm up your pole a lot more um, because it's only you using the pole at home and you know you've probably just gone into an, it's, the pole is cold 
in the studio it's all you know they've already made sure the room is nice and warm they may have already had class on there they've definitely probably delivered in a good clean anyway so they've already heated the poles up for you and then you're further heating it getting on and doing your conditioning and, and your warm-up drills um so you just definitely got to think about doing a little bit more of a warm-up and also really creating as much friction on that pole to heat it up. One, give it a good clean, and then two, just heating it up, and that's gonna help you so much with your grip. Um, and that's what a lot of people don't do. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Um, cheating, <laughs> yes. I would say that cheating was when I was so scared on Chrome that my instructor had hold of more of my weight than I was holding upside <laughs> down. I know, it's nuts. So yeah, cheating is something that I was, oh God, uh, there was so much, so much like hatred, isn't there? Like, what is it with some, it's not in all studios, like I'm actually come out of the studio world because I just teach, you know, online at home. So I don't really get into that, you know, mentality anymore. But yeah, I used to always get a lot of, you know, people from other studios were like, Oh, well, why would you do silicone pole like talking to my other students or something? Why would you do silicone pole? It's just cheating. And it's like, no, like, how can you be cheating? Like, you're still having to build your strength, actually. You're going to be stronger than she is because you're having to work harder to ensure that you can get out safely rather than just sliding down to the ground. Like, yeah, it was, it was very, it was nuts. It was a little bit nuts. Uh, but now I think people are seeing the benefit of it. I mean, look at how far it's come over the years. So, so good, I love it so much. Um, it was a used pole from a teacher, but at the time I didn't know about the difference in chrome stainless or rubber, I learnt my lesson. So what do you have, Ka uh, Kate Patrick? Oh my God, um, Katrine, Katrine, I'm gonna get there, not Katrine, Katrine. Um, is it is it a chrome pole, is it a stainless pole? See, I, some people love stainless poles, I can't stand them. I literally can't grip on a stainless pole. Like I feel like my fingers are just holding on for dear life. I just can't seem to grip, but give me a chrome, it's fine. And other people are completely opposite. So it's definitely worth giving thing, you know, different finished poles a go and seeing what you like. Powder coat is another one. Some people love it, some people hate it. The only time I've really actually trained, or I don't really train too much on a, um, a powder coated pole. I did the, probably the most amount of training was when I actually did my instructor course. Um, because that was all using an R pole and a 38 millimeter pole, which was a bit nuts when you're so used to using at the time was a 50 millimeter pole. So you can imagine the difference. Great for the hand grips, but oh my God, her leg grips. Oh, pinchy. Anyway, let's dive, 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 digress in. Um, yes, it's lovely in the PPA members group. No one says, ah, but you couldn't do that. Oh my God, the amount of people that would say that. No one says, ah, but you couldn't do that on the Chrome pole. That used to really piss me off, you know, because then I'd be like, oh, for fuck's sake, I'm going to have to get the Chrome pole out now and show that I can do it on the Chrome pole. Because people just don't realize that you can, you can do, you can do all these things. It's great. Um, but the thing is, it's like you, you, I think with the, ugh, start again, with the silicone pole, if you've got, if you do the move on, on the silicone pole and you're like, yes, you build that confidence up and then you've got that skill and then you understand the positioning and the technique and how to hold it. So when you do it on a chrome pole, you are not so scared because you've already done it. I know the, the feeling will be different in like the terms of like the feeling of the pole, um, you know, one that it's a little bit cooler <laughs> being a chrome pole or a metal finished pole than a silicone. Um, but you're like, yeah, I've got this, I've got this hold. So yeah, I have to, have to show people. The annoying thing is, is having to show people to show that actually it doesn't matter what kind of pole you use, you can still progress. Um, it does it's not a cheating aspect. Uh, you, like I said, you still have to develop and use the same muscles, no matter what pole, what pole you use. And uh, yeah, it was just like, <laughs> it used to come into like, we used to have both chrome and silicone poles or, um, um, sleeve poles and the chrome poles used to be caked in grip grip aid and I'm like like happen to scrape it off the blinking pole I'm like but why why don't you just there's a silicone pole there just use that one <laughs> because what you're applying on the pole you may as well just use it just just save your grip <laughs> anyway uh I got on better powder coated out of all the metal fish poles as it's the most grippy but then I but I wasn't too scared when but I wasn't too worried when hubby broke it I yeah I didn't mind this I didn't mind a powder coated pole 
I didn't like, uh, but the powder coated poles actually also burn. That's another point. If you like, if you drop into powder, if you drop on powder coated poles, they can still cause burns. Um, so yeah, so the grippy element is great, but not if you want to be able to do any of the drops. Hope that makes sense. But yeah, but if you got a little bit, have you guys got any questions about silicone poles? Um, sorry, Ingberg, I've just seen you. I would love silicone pole for my hands but my legs stick well to a chrome. Yes, my that that's my issue, is that I'm too sticky in my legs. That's why I don't really like using the chrome, chrome pole, because I can't actually, this sounds weird, doesn't it? I can slide my legs more on a silicone pole than I can actually on a chrome pole. I know, freaking weird. Um, luckily I started at a studio where owner had learned about, I was gonna say, you can get just gloves use them less and less as grip strength develops yeah you can totally get gloves so oh, i think we've just changed this just this um live into <laughs> different types of grip um but yeah you can get um grippy leggings you can get grippy uh gloves the one i can remember the most with grippy lo grippy loves grippy gloves uh she says i think it's called mighty grip mighty grip used to well i think they still do like a sticky powder and they used to do um some gloves. I don't know if they are still doing them or whether you can just still buy similar ones to it. The only thing I will say if you're using um, grippy gloves, so the grippy gloves is basically like a silicone on your hand, if you like, and then it will help you grip on a metal finished pole. That's all good unless you're sweaty in your hands and then your hands may slip out of the glove. So the glove will stay put great, but your hands come out. So yeah, pros, there's pros and cons about with everything. And it's finding what works for you at the end of the day. Um, there, obviously, like I said, there's uh, grippy leggings now. People use a lot of those, so either silicone pole or grippy leggings. Um, they, they're quite cool as well. Again, they can still, depending, they need to be totally fitted. Most of them are, because that's what they're designed for. But if you buy a size too big and there's um, too much fabric, again, you're still going to have the issue that the fabric's going to build up. You might feel that you stick a little bit more because uh, of the fabric build up, or you may not feel that you can get that secure grip. So everything is, is pro and cons with everything that we do, everything that we use. Uh, I didn't get on with gloves as they basically make you, what you are gripping a lot thicker. That's true. And I have tiny hands. So yeah, it really depends what, what works for you guys. And I don't, but don't feel like anything is, uh, what's the word? Cheating. Okay. If you're happy, you know, most instructors even use grip aids on the hand, whether it's dry hands or mighty grip or gorilla glue, whatever it may be. Um, they're still using grip aids, you know? So, you know, don't think it's cheating. Like you, I've seen going, I've been to like, I know, uh, what do you call it, um, workshops. And the first thing the instructor does is like grip up as much as they can before they demo a trick. So don't see it as a negative thing. Yes, you will build your strength up along the way, but if you need to apply grip, then bloody apply grip. Look at gymnastics. They've always powered, like um, using the, uh, like rosin or whatever they use, powder their hands. Um, so it's not cheating. <laughs> if it's going to help you grip and the grip strength is then going to help you build your strength and actually learning the tricks, then why not? It makes sense. Anyway, that's my little, uh, whatever you like to call it, <laughs> uh, chin wag on the silicone poles and grip aids. But if you've got any questions on silicone poles, let me know. Like I said, you can't slide on it. Um, you 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 can if you like if you're used to it you know i can i could basically you know do a climb and then slide down the pole but it is more trickier you definitely have to to build your well, i don't want to say stamina on it what's the word tolerance maybe getting used to a different uh texture of pole and being able to grip um but otherwise yeah if you if you are struggling and you're thinking of giving up get some sort of silicone <laughs> uh hopefully that makes sense right once I had, oh, such an itchy nose. Once I had gotten used to non-tacky, I couldn't grip with the tacky ones. Down to anti personal well done. And also checking grip before adding extra grip. Yes, absolutely. The best, the best grip I get always, I know I say this into all my lessons, is just washing your hands. Washing your hands or just grabbing a wet cloth and a dry cloth and just wiping your hands in between your, um, tricks that you're learning and you'll instantly get that grip back just wiping off any of the excess uh, sweat uh, rather than keep applying grip keep applying grip is just going to make you more slippy um so yeah 
Good stuff. Alrighty, that was short and sweet, wasn't it? <laughs> um, I'm just trying to think, is there any more common questions on silicone that I can think of? Um, no, I don't think so. Everything, like I said, everything we've done, before, everything that I've taught in on my uh, the program, my online lessons, if I'm using a silicone pole, everything I do on a silicone pole, you can do on any metal finish pole as well. Um, it just, the only difference is, is that you will need skin grip. If you're using a metal finish pole, you just need skin grip. And I quite often say to you, right, you will need skin grip on your side, okay? I am using a silicone pole, hence why I've got a top on. Um, so if you're not gripping, or I might say to you, right, get your ass cheeks out if you're using a, a metal finish pole, because we need grip there. So this is where I'm, my gripping points are. So it doesn't matter what kind of finish pole you have, you can come and join our lessons and you'll still be able to learn. Um, and I know this is a classic thing. I all, People always say, is like, oh, you can't do, really do superman on on a silicone pole because you have to drop into it and you can't do drops on the pole absolute bollocks you just got to learn it into you just learn you learn superman a different way you definitely don't i don't ever drop my hips on a silicone pole i don't actually drip, drop my hips in the move superman you can do that move and it's just basically the technique how you what your position holding it as you turn over and then you don't need to drop once you keep yourself where you are you don't need to drop your hips down so everything can be learned on either metal or silicone ball. Does that make sense? Right, I'm gonna, I love you and leave you now before I bore you. <laughs> um, and I will see you tomorrow. I think it'll be a bit more, what day is it? Saturday tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, it'll probably be more afternoon live tomorrow, guys, rather than the evening. So yeah, if you've got any, if you've got anything specific you want me to help you with or, you know, topics you want me to address, let me know. Um, like I said, and I can schedule them in to make sure you get the information that you want. Okay, don't forget, six days left, guys. I'm just, you know, giving you a reminder. If you do want to get strong at home and you don't have a pole at home, our, um, that membership is there for you. Okay, nice and it's the cheapest membership we've done so that you can make sure that you get the benefit from it. Okay, this is what Mission 500 is all about, to be able to give you accessible um, stuff. So whether this is, you know, getting the information from these free lives or whether you want to come and join us on one of our memberships, something to be able to access right away. All right, right, okay. Oh, Monique, well done. Just ordered my silicone pole. Can't wait to see it up, my lovely. Can't wait to see that up and see how you get on. How exciting. What color did you go for? Black or pink? Let me know. Let me know. And let me know who else actually uses a silicone pole. Do you have a silicone pole? Do you use both? Um, I know a lot of people use, like, when they do, uh, I keep calling it an aerial pole, but it's a flying pole, isn't it? A flying pole, obviously, they usually, a lot of the times, they are um, grip wrapped or they've got silicone pole on them as well gone for the black one that's cool i used to have a black one and then when i had to get a new one um i went for the pink one uh but yeah no i used to have black all the time the whole the whole studio was kitted out with black poles uh awesome exciting fabulous i actually had a black pole but then a lot of my tops were black so hence when i needed to get a new pole a new silicone pole i went for the pink one just because it pretty much clashes with everything i wear so it's easy to see where my body is when i was teaching that's pretty much the only reason why i bought a pink pole there you go that's some news for you isn't it <laughs> yes i use both if you mean silicone and grip work <laughs> yes i do use both but yeah i'm chrome anyway right shutting up love you guys i'll see you tomorrow thank you so much Bye.